I would like to share with you um, something that very exciting that's been happening in our lives. In 1971, 72, 73, there was a wonderful movement, uh, the Jesus movement, and I came into a knowledge of Christ the Lord at that time. And we were taught from the beginning to go into all the world and make disciples in all nations. And we took that to heart. That's what Jesus was all about. And with a group of other young folks, I went off to Guatemala in 1976 to spread the gospel and minister to people's needs after a tremendous earthquake. Another group went off to Birmingham, England in 1980 to start a church there. And we were very dear friends with Alex and Rini and we had an, a call five years ago out of the blue an old ministry friend called and said Dick have you heard that Alex has bought an old farm in Wales and that they are building this farm or turning it into a retreat center for families that have special needs kids with Down syndrome or other special problems with the idea that families can come out and receive the love of the Lord in such a beautiful place so we're interested in putting a small group of people to go over and work there, and would you be able to come? So I spoke with my wife Gladys, and we didn't need to really pray very hard. I was delighted at the opportunity to go to Wales. I never crossed my mind that I would ever be in Wales. But to go and spend time with lovely friends and to work with our hands, be outside, we went for it. And so we had a small group, maybe there were seven of us, I believe, or six, we met actually in Wales and we went to work on this old stone farm. During the time that we were working, we were staying in a cottage over five or six miles away. And every morning when I would wake up, I would look out the window of my cottage and I would see this beautiful green hill. And I just, something was going on. I felt like an attraction and I felt, Lord, I'd like to get out there before this trip is over. So one morning I woke up very early and I put on my tennis shoes and I had a cup of coffee and I headed off through the misty, kind of semi-rainy morning, hoping that I wasn't going to get drenched. And I began wandering off through the country lanes up towards this hilltop. And on my way up there, there was a little crook in the road and as I came around the first turn, there was a sign that said Chapel Kilvower. And it struck me because as we had been going back and forth and as we came into Wales, I couldn't help but notice old chapels and churches everywhere. Little ones, larger ones, but almost every couple of miles it seemed. And I was reminded of the great Welsh revival of 1904 and the many people that were swept into God's kingdom. And yet the churches are pretty much dead. So I went over the little entry gate down into this churchyard over a gravel road grassy in the middle and I just looked and wow just another old dead church and my spirit grieved and uh, I stayed there for a moment and prayed and then I continued up and I found my way up to the hilltop and as I got up near the top of this green hill there were old hedgerows that met right at the summit of the hill and as I was uh, approaching this point I felt the spirit of the Lord begin to stir in me and say that we need to come back to the ancient landmarks that we've left, that the church, the traditionalism has dr drawn people away from a personal relationship with our loving God. And I grieved in my spirit, and I climbed up on this hedgerow, and I had a beautiful view of 360 degrees all around, the green hills, the pastures, the farms, the little towns, and I began to pray, I began to weep, I was broken as I pleaded with God for the condition of this country. And that morning, it was cloudy, dense, puffy gray clouds just scudded overhead fast, and there was a strong wind. And as I stood up there and I looked over the countryside, and as I was praying, and I was just, my soul was travailing, and suddenly a little opening in the wind, and the clouds formed, and a golden swath of sunlight came shooting down like a floodlight, swept across one of the fields over one of the hills and closed up again and something in my spirit began to awaken within me and after another minute I looked and there was another opening in the clouds in the morning the sunlight sunlight came shining down bathing this old chapel where I had just been with this golden glowing light and the Lord spoke to my spirit 
And he said, I'm bringing the revival again to Wales. Yes. And as I saw this, I wept with joy. My spirit leapt, and I just began to praise the Lord and ask him to please let it happen. And as I looked about me, I could see a window open on another hilltop and another hilltop. And the rays of sun would come in and light up one chapel after another. And the Lord made it clear to my spirit that he is bringing revival again to Wales. And from there, it would spread over into the UK, even into Europe. I went back to uh, my home a uh, year, two years, three years went by. In the third year, we organized another team to come back. And I had heard a few things from time to time about revival in Wales. And I prayed and I was excited, but I had really nothing solid that I was um, ex anticipating. But this time, as we were working, I, after a afternoon I was tired I went out behind the barn to I wanted to sit on something solid I mean something that wouldn't move around and I found this moss covered rock and as I sat I was overwhelmed with how God's love just spoiled me and I wept and I wept with his great love and I opened my eyes and I looked out over the fields and the pastures and the little villages and I thought well God how is it possible that you give me such an incredible portion of your love and yet these people having a clue. And as I wept, I said, Lord, is there anything that I could do? And the Lord spoke to me immediately. And he said, do you remember that old chapel? I said, yes, Lord, I do. He said, I want you to go to this place and pray every day. And the revival I showed you is going to begin there and it's going to spread out to other places. So as I was overwhelmed with this, I realized that God indeed was speaking to me. Early next morning, I woke up and I early I went out to this chapel and as I drove this time and I went over the entryway there was a brand new pavement going right down to the chapel and the Lord said you see I'm getting things ready for this revival and as I tried the chapel door and found it locked I went up into the cemetery to pray for a while and the Lord gave me um, this tremendous sign there was a, a rainbow but it was just a small piece and I said well Lord as he was bringing this rainbow out, I said, Lord, is it really you? Let's have this rainbow go all the way over where there's nothing but blue sky. And I was awestruck as I watched gradually this whole rainbow be filled out before my eyes. And I was overwhelmed, but I know, God, this is you. Whatever it takes, Lord, I will come. I will pray at this old chapel, and I'm going to believe you. And in a series of extraordinary events after that, I met with a brother in London on my way back. He had had a prophecy, or he had a, seen in a vision this chapel in Wales and other places where revival is coming to Europe. And I knew that the Lord had spoken to me. And so our determination is to go to this chapel. We've been back on several subsequent trips. We've spent many hours and days. The Lord has continued to confirm day by day. People around in other parts of our country are praying for us, and we know that God is going to start a move that's going to reflect not only in Wales, but God is bringing revival to the nations of the world. It's your challenge and it's my challenge to hear the voice of the Lord, to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, to fear not, and to go forth trusting that the glory of God will be seen, the nations will run to our light as we allow the light of God to reflect through our lives. The Lord bless you. The Lord give us all wisdom, strength, and courage as we pray and we work to see his accomplishments on the earth today.